Robonomics builds the system that is compatible with ROS, the well-known robot operating system. If you don't know about ROS, here is the little brief for you. The robot operating system is a flexible framework for writing robot software. It is a collection of tools, libraries, and conventions that aim to simplify the task of creating complex and robust robot behavior across a wide variety of robotic platforms. ROS was built from the ground up to encourage collaborative robotic software development. For example, one laboratory might have experts in mapping indoor environments and could contribute a world-class system for producing maps. Another group might have experts at using maps to navigate, and yet another group might have discovered a computer vision approach that works well for recognizing small objects in clutter. ROS was designed specifically for groups like these to collaborate and build upon each other's work. The same way Robotomics produces an opportunity for the ROS ecosystem developers to collab and to plug in devices to the digital economy. As we said before, Robotomics is compatible with ROS and improves it in a way of collaborating humans and robots by its interface. The Robotomics provide the finalization of the contractual liability of the robot as a service, after which the robot receives payment from the smart contract that can allow it, as a buyer of energy and consumables, to enter the same digital economy market. Cryptocurrencies opened for the robots of the future is the most important form of communication with humans, economically significant communication. Being at the beginning of a new wave of the Industrial Revolution, which humanity calls the advent of cyber-physical systems, it is impossible not to assume that the main place of communication for complex, integrated, automated systems will be the market and the basis of this communication economy. Every robot that we teach to use cryptocurrencies will become the forerunner of humanity's awareness of its economy and what holds it in the 21st century. What robots can be connected to Robotomics? The answer is, all robots using ROS and ROS2 will be supported soon, and it's hundreds of use cases. Here is the guide how you can connect your robot to Robotomics. Let's see how Robonomics power chain control allows to make Mars Curiosity rover move. Here is the requirement. Use this command to install ROS. Install IPFS, download and install IPFS 0.4.22. Here is the link. Install Python dependencies. Get Robonomics node binary file. You can download latest release here. You can also add IPFS browser extension, but this is optionally. In this video, you can see the simulation of the launching of the Mars rover and logging of its activity into a blockchain. Since the blockchain can't receive large amount of data, IPFS decentralized file system is used, in which the file address is a line of symbols that is written into the blockchain. Then we launch IPFS daemon and check its efficiency. And now we can upload files on IPFS. All communications between the robot and the governance are being implemented in the blockchain net using specific type of messages. We launch local Robonomics testnet. The testnet has better performance and it allows to experiment without any risk. From the user's point of view, all communications are implemented through Robonomics portal, where you can switch between real, test and local nets to send messages and write data into the chain. For the communication, we'll need accounts. Several accounts that tie to the rover, governance and third-party user are already created in this example. Each account has two main attributes, public key and private key. We will need both because rover waits for messages to be sent to its own address, but to send data to the blockchain, we will need to sign the message with our private key. We'll send some test tokens on each account and fill the config file of Rover's control script for it to understand when exactly should it start the job and to save data in the net. Let's launch the script. The robot recognizes paths and keys and waits for the transaction. We send the transaction from the new terminal using Robonomics I.O. module. To send a message, we need to indicate the target address and to sign a message with the governance account's private key. 
a message should say on or off. Robot will interpret this as start or end of the mission. You can send a message using redirection of streams. Because specified address belongs to someone else but not to the robot, robot won't perform a task. Now let's send a transaction to the robot's address. It sees the message and starts to perform a task. It prepares to the mission and accomplishes it. It's moving on the surface of Mars and at the same time it gathers information about the mission and records it in the file. Let's give our robot some time to finish its mission. After receiving a transaction to stop the mission, robot stops, publishes the file with the logs into IPFS, receives hash and sends files hash into the blockchain. This is the same transaction as the one that costs several tokens. The robot has published data on the blockchain. We can check the recording using Robotomics portal in the chain state section. There you'll be able to see the records in the blockchain from each account, the rover and then we check the data log. This is IPFS hash. In the IPFS we can check telemetry data. As a result, the robot received the command to start and finish a task and publish the data on the blockchain net, where it's safely stored. New generation of internet technologies implements the exchange of technical and economic information in the form of atomic transactions between user applications, IoT services and complex robotics. That is the reason why we focused on web free tech for robotics. With standard internet tech, you can connect your IoT devices to the cloud with web free to end users.